The sixth and final round of the 2015 UAE Rally Championship will be run in Fujairah under the patronage of the Crown Prince of Fujairah, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Mohammed Al Sharki. The magnificent stages through the Hajar Mountains made this event the most spectacular of the championship. This would be the second time the Emirates Motorsports Club would run a rally in Fujairah. Leaders of the overall championship, Group N and T1 would take part in this event, which would bring to a climax the Emirates Motorsports Club UAE Championship 2015. With several categories still to be decided, this event would be hard fought, with the mountainous terrain of the stages proving to be a demanding final round. The Fujera rally would start from the Wedding Square, the first car of Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi with the co-driver Gabi Khoury away at just after 10.30 in the Ford Fiesta RRC. Second to start, Michel Sala and Wassam Badawi in a Subaru Impreza. Third to begin in a Ford Fiesta R5, Rashid El Ketbi and German co-driver Karina Herpela. Fourth away, leaders of the T1 class in the Chevrolet, Ali El Shawi and Ali Hassan Obeid. This event would be made up of four stages, run in a loop through the mountains of Fajera. A fantastic setting for the final rally of the season. Sheikh Abdullah, leading the overall championship with 175 points, had won the previous five events. As with the fifth round, held in conjunction with the Dubai International Rally, the top seed would again drive the powerful Ford Focus RRC. In the opening stage of the day, far, far, at just under nine and a half kilometers, Kasmi sets a time of six minutes, 44 seconds and 15 minutes 12 seconds in the second 18.2 kilometer stage of Mamdur. In terms of the overall 2015 championship, Sheikh Abdullah was assured of the title. However, the leader would clock the second fastest time in the opening two stages. Second to start the special stages, Michel Sala and co-driver Wassam Badawi in a Group N Subaru Impreza. Sala, after finishing third in the fifth round, had moved up into second overall in the Drivers' Championship, but needed a good finish to stay in second overall, as just behind Sala was Ali Al Shawi. Just eight points separated them before this event. The experienced Sala and Badawi find themselves in trouble after the first two stages and incur time penalties during the first service that drops them down the field. Starting third on the road, Rashid Al Ketbi and German co-driver Christina Herpela. Having finished behind Al Qasimi in the fifth round of the championship, Al Ketbi was on a mission. Lying in ninth place overall in the drivers' championship, Ketbi would drive to the limit in the opening two stages. In Farfar, far, the Emirati driver sets a time of 6 minutes 17 seconds to take the lead in the Fujairah Rally. With the experience of driving in the World Rally Championship Series, Ketby increased the pressure on the top seed by setting the quickest time in the second stage by 9 seconds in 15 minutes and 3 seconds. After the first two stages, Ketby had moved into the lead. Seated fourth in the T1 Chevrolet pickup, winner of the T1 class last year, Ali El Shawi and co-driver Ali Hassan Obeid. The Chevrolet does not have the acceleration of the previous cars, but has the ability to take on a lot of punishment. Al Shawi and Hassan Obeid seem to be unsure of the route at times. Ali Al Shawi in third place in 
the overall drivers' championship before this event, needed to finish ahead of Michel Sala in order to overtake him in the championship. The Emirati team clock a time of 7 minutes 31 in the stage of Far Far, 17.29 in the stage of Mandur. The UAE driver Mansour bin Jabra with the experienced co-driver Arif Mohammed and a Mitsubishi Evo 10 will be seated in fifth. Bin Jabra's previous efforts in this championship had been mixed. Here, seventh fastest in the opening stage, Bin Jabra's event almost comes undone as the fifth seed damaged the rear driver's side in the corner early on in the second stage of Mandur. The narrow route forced this team to continue on until they could safely stop and change the rear wheel. However, they lose a massive amount of time, completing the stage in a time of 49 minutes, 48 seconds, but they stay in the event. Seeded in 7th, Sami Mahmoud with co-driver Ali Mirza in a Group N Mitsubishi Evo 9 will be one of the early retirees. After setting a time of 8 minutes 29, this is the last we see of the veteran Lebanese driver. In his first year of competitive driving, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Qasimi with co-driver Lebanon's Joseph Mata would start as the 8th seeds in a Subaru Impreza. After finishing the fifth round of the championship, second in Group N and fourth overall, Sheikh Mohammed was in eighth overall in the championship. The young driver begins cautiously, fifth quickest in the opening stage of the day in a time of eight minutes. The eighth seed complete the technically challenging second stage with the third quickest time overall and fastest Group N car in 17 minutes and 20 seconds. Seeded ninth, Ian and Sheila Barker, competing in a T1 Nissan Patrol, had been proving to be good competition for Al Shawi during the course of the year. In seventh overall in the driver's standings before this event, the Barkers clocked 7 minutes 53 in the opening stage, dropping just over 20 seconds to Al Shawi. In the second stage, the ninth seed conceded more time to the leader in T1, managing only the sixth fastest time overall, but move up in the overall standings as several competitors were succumbing to the difficult terrain, here passing the beleaguered fifth seeds of Bin Jabr and Arif Mohammed. Yazan Rijla and Imad Naban in the T1 Nissan Pathfinder started as the 11th seeds, but after setting a time of 8 minutes and 44 seconds in the opening Far Far stage, they too joined the list of retirees. The final driver to start this event, Lebanon's Alan Nofal, winner of the 2015 Emirates Motorsports Club Autocross Championship, appearing in his first rally event as the 15th seed in a T3 Wildcat buggy, would demonstrate his obvious driving skills. Six quickest in the opening stage, the Lebanese driver takes the fifth fastest time in the second stage of the day, although not registered in the driver's championship. The final two stages of the Fujera rally would be a repeat of those ran earlier. Sheikh Abdullah and Gabi Khoury, though first on the road, would set the second fastest time in the second running of Far Far but would clock the fastest time overall in the final stage of the day in 40 minutes 43 seconds, finishing the event in a time of 43 minutes and 5 seconds. In the Ford Fiesta R5, Ketby and Herpela are just 81 hundredths of a second faster in the fifth stage, but they had done enough in the previous two stages, completing the rally in 42 minutes and 43 seconds. The third competitor to appear in the final two stages would be the fourth driver to start. Ali Al Shawi and co-driver Ali Hassan Obeid had moved ahead of Michel Sala on the road, as Sala incurred penalties. The fourth seeds go on to complete the event not in third, 
but in fourth overall in 50 minutes and 5 seconds. Quicker than Al Shawi by less than 3 seconds, the 8th seeded Sheikh Mohammed Al Qasimi and Joseph Mata would manage to take their first podium finish and go on to win Group N in the Super Impreza. An incredible achievement for a team that only started rallying earlier this year in 2015. From their ninth seeded position in the Nissan Petroleum and Sheila Barker had climbed throughout the rally. The UK competitors go on to finish in fifth overall and second in the T1 category, capping what has been a spectacularly good season for this team. The penultimate car to start the final stage, Michel Sala, had dropped time earlier on and would not be able to take it back. Earlier in second in the championship, Salah and Badawi crash out of the rally in the final stage shortly after this. Another driver that had faced problems during the event, after losing time in the second stage, the fifth seeded Mansour bin Jabra and Arif Muhammad would manage to repair the rear axle and go on to complete the rally in a time of 1 hour, 23 minutes and 18 seconds. At the end of this final rally, patron of the event, the Crown Prince of Fujairah, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Mohammed Al Shaki arrived to present the finishers with their trophies. Mansour bin Jabra and Arif Mohammed taking their first finish of the season together in seventh. Incredibly, Alan Nofal finishing six overall and is the only T3 vehicle. Ian and Sheila Barker took second in T1 and fifth place overall, helping Ian Barker move into sixth overall in the Drivers' Championship. Ali Al Shawi and co driver Ali Hassan Obey took fourth overall and victory in T1. The finish would ensure Ali Al Shawi finished second overall in the Drivers' Championship. Sheikh Mohammed Al Qasimi and Joseph Mata would finish as the first in Group N, a result that moved Sheikh Mohammed into fifth overall in the Drivers' Championship and Mata into second place in the co-drivers' standings. Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi and co-driver Gabi Khoury would finish in second overall, but the top seed had done enough to finish the season in top place in the overall Drivers' Championship. Gabi Khoury winning the co-drivers' championship too. <laughs> Rashid al Ketbi and Karina Herpela took their first victory in the UAE championship with a winning time of 42 minutes and 43 seconds, a result that would bring Ketbi into third in the overall drivers' championship. The final round of the 2015 UAE championship brought to an end an exciting season that had seen events across Sharjah, Ras al Khaimah, Dubai and the Emirate of Fujairah. I'm going to